Hello again, everybody. And this is, again, a, a tutorial about the symbols and components, the functions of them. Um, as you see over here, this is a battery. For automotive, standard, we use DC. So therefore, you have two terminals, the positive, the minus. All these lines, the big one and the small, represent cells. In a standard car battery of 12.6 volts, we have six cells, each one being 2.1 volts. 2.1 volts times 6 cells is 12.6. So, a positive terminal, a negative terminal. This usually goes to the engine block. Protection devices. Usually in automotive, you'll see one, two, or maybe three of these protection devices. The standard is the fuse, which has a rating. And that rating usually cannot be exceeded. Once you blow that fuse, that fuse has to be replaced. So we wanted to make things a little more convenient. We came out with a circuit breaker. A circuit breaker is a switch that you turn on and off. If it's set for 20 amps and it tripped at 25 amps, we can always reset it manually. So this circuit breaker is much better. Fusible link is seen all the time from the starter and from the battery to the starter and the alternator. Its function is to wires soldered together melted together and they melt at a certain temperature actually so when you um, exceed a certain rating then they open up to protect the devices so all these are protection devices if this is going to a load uh, a motor a pump all of the these functions are to protect those loads this you have to change the wires this you have to change the fuse this you just ch move the, the switch this is the best one brings us to the schematic now we just spoke about a, a fuse <clears throat> as you can see in the schematic over here we have fuses they are rated but some things are left out and that is they don't tell you the color of the fuse and they don't tell you if it's a maximum fuse or a mini fuse the size of it only the ratings of it but it does tell you where it's located and I can, as you can see over here it's located the fuse fuse block on top of left front fender so the ignition means where the function of the circuit that it is functioning AC is air conditioning and it tells you the function of air conditioning <clears throat> so don't, these two things always are stated next to the fuses now this one it tells you where it's located not so on every schematic because these are automotive schematics it does tell you where it's located again um 50 amp fuses are red fuses they are color coded blue green associated with that the current rating you will not find that that just comes from experience these are relays so relays are coils with turns of many wires on them uh, uh, many many turns of, uh, of wire around them so therefore the flow of current which I have put in and the voltage I have inserted many diagrams you will not find voltage measurements you will certainly not find the flow the signal flow or the current flow as I have inserted the function of what it is over here it does say it you see over here it says clutch relay it tells you it's a relay it tells you it's a fuse and these diagrams it does tell you what it is a relay but more or less in other diagrams which are not automotive it will not tell you you have to know this is a relay you have to know this is the computer and it tells you the the location of it it tells you this what it does for this is the ignition switch as you can see the dotted line means it's in a switch and there's another part of it again a fuse 20 amps what it's for hvac uh, air conditioning where it's located and again 12 volts here 12 volts here and the color of the wire is indicated brown on other schematics it will not tell you i will go more into detail in another video this is just a prerequisite